Here are five important points about Galveston, Texas cruise port. These aren't tips per se, so much as things to keep in mind for your next cruise here. I'm Troy, and this is the Port Lowdown. Number one. There's no public transportation from the airports. We're talking no train or public bus service. Plus, the two airports that surface Galveston are some distance away. You'll be flying into Houston, which is served by George Bush Intercontinental Airport, over an hour away, and Houston Hobby, about 45 minutes away. Hobby is preferable, of course. This is where we landed, and it still took about an hour in moderate traffic via Uber. Taxis and cruise company shuttles are also an option, but rideshare services seem to present the best value. Number two, the car is king. Many of your fellow cruise passengers are coming by car. Thus, there are parking options galore, both at the port facility itself and around town. Really, it's a lot, many with complimentary shuttles. The Galveston Downtown Center is walkable and close to the port, although hotel options are limited to the high end. So it's easier, if you have your own wheels, to stay just a little farther away at the many hotel options around the island and park in. Or rideshare. If you do stay close enough to the port to walk, consider number three. The sidewalks will be rough on your suitcase. The sidewalks are uneven cobblestone, which sometimes drop off sharply. Also be prepared for some occasional lifting over big curbs and train tracks. Sidewalks can also be narrow, especially across from the port. Be sure to use 25th Street to enter terminals 25 and 28. Some areas along Harborside Boulevard have no sidewalks. Number four. The facilities are huge and efficient. Just watch out for the booze tax. Once you're in your respective terminal, it's pretty smooth sailing. No pun intended. Lots of seating. Clean and ample bathrooms. And friendly staff. All right. Thank you so much. Well, thanks a lot. You guys have a great time. Thank you. After your cruise, it's pretty easy getting out. It does get a tad congested though. By the way, Lyft is the only rideshare operator authorized for the port. If you use Uber, the closest pickup point seems to be the Galveston Railroad Museum, just down the street from the entrance. I noticed a lot of people waiting for rides here on port days. Just mind the booze tax. My wife got a bottle of wine as a gift from the cruise line, but we were taxed on that bottle when we returned back, about $3.50. See our link below for details about the import law. You will be asked when you leave the terminal. By the way, if you find this video useful and enjoyable, Hit us up with a like and consider subscribing. It's simple to do and it would mean a lot to us. Thank you. And number five, you can store your luggage in town. Want to stash your luggage and go walking around town before or after your cruise? Check out the cruise stop across from the Railway Museum. Serving both cruisers and crew members with various sundries, they offer short-term luggage storage. Booking ahead is strongly recommended since their space is limited and fill up fast on port days. And you just have to hike up those stairs. Speaking of walking around, check out our top five things to do on foot in Galveston. See you there.